We are glad to welcome you on the channel 40 weeks of pregnancy. Subscribe and wait for new videos. 10 weeks pregnant. You are now in month 3 of your pregnancy and your baby has officially graduated from an embryo to a fetus. You may just be starting to show at 10 weeks pregnant, though if there are no signs of the bump yet, that's normal too. And you might also notice visible veins and increased vaginal discharge. 10 weeks pregnant is how many months? If you are 10 weeks pregnant, you are in month 3 of your pregnancy. Only 6 months left to go. How big is my baby at 10 weeks? Your baby's growth is fast and furious when you are 10 weeks pregnant. She is nearly 1.5 inches long and the size of a prune but not nearly as shriveled even with all the time spent in water. The start of the fetal period. Congratulations, your baby has officially graduated this week from embryo to fetus. Baby's bones form. Your baby is really taking a human shape now. Bones and cartilage are forming and small indentations on the legs are developing into knees and ankles. The arms, complete with elbows, can flex already. How's that for magical? Still, don't run to the store for a baseball bat just yet. Though your baby's arm are taking shape and getting stronger, each one is still teeny tiny. Baby's first teeth. The tooth bud fairly is making an appearance this week, heralding the arrival of your baby's little choppers, which are forming under the gums. But those pearly whites don't break through the gums until your baby is close to 6 months old. Other systems are a go-to. Your baby's stomach is producing digestive juices. The kidneys are producing larger quantities of urine and, if it's a boy, your little one is already producing testosterone. Your 10 weeks pregnant belly. If you haven't already looked in the mirror lately and examined your newly pregnant body and your 10 weeks pregnant belly, take a deep breath, take off your clothes and go for it. First thing you're likely to notice at 10 weeks pregnant is a slightly rounder lower abdomen. In other words, at 10 weeks pregnant you may be just starting to show. That's because your ever-growing uterus is now somewhat larger than a grapefruit. But don't worry if you can't quite see your bump at 10 weeks yet. You will soon enough. Remember that pretty much anything is normal when it comes to your baby bump. Some women show earlier and others show later, depending on their height, weight and build. If it's your first pregnancy, you may show a bit later than if it's your second or third pregnancy. Talk to your doctor if you're concerned, but don't worry. Pretty much anything goes. Visible veins. Second thing you might notice are all those blue lines that have suddenly appeared on your skin, crisscrossing your breasts and abdomen. Those visible veins can appear on both light and dark complexions. What you are seeing is the expanded network of veins that carry the increased blood supply needed to nourish your growing fetus. As your pregnancy progresses, you will also notice that the veins in your hands and feet seem larger and more prominent too. During pregnancy, the average woman's blood volume increases by a little under 50% and the veins have to keep up so they can go with the flow. So consider those blue lights on your body to be a pregnancy badge of honor. Wear them with pride and with the comforting knowledge that will disappear for good once your baby is born and you are no longer breastfeeding, if you do. Curing constipation. Constipation is an all too common first trimester pregnancy symptom. What can you do about it? First, steer clear of foods that will clog up the works like refined white breads, rice and pasta. Second, fixate on fiber. Choose whole grains like fiber-rich cereals and fresh fruit like kiwis, a fine fury friend to those who are constipated. Dried fruit too is a great option. Beyond the geriatric favorite, prunes, try all your favorite fruits dried, apricots, peaches, pears, apples, blueberries, cherries, you name it. 
or choose raw or lightly cooked vegetables and nuts and seeds. Third, wash that fiber down and through your system with plenty of fluids, particularly water and juice. If you close your eyes, V8 tastes just like champagne, well, sort of. And finally, remember that getting moving can keep things moving, another good reason to put exercise on the agenda. If the situation doesn't improve in a couple of days, swallow your pride and call your practitioner, who may have a few special tricks up that white-coated sleeve. Don't use any other the counter remedies without consulting your doctor first. Pregnancy Symptoms Week 10 Tips for you this week Take the ride in stride Crying uncontrollably one minute, laughing hysterically the next These emotional highs and lows are par for the pregnancy course Mood swings are mostly felt during the first trimester, with the second trimester break, but be forewarned, they often return for the last few months of pregnancy Avoid triggering smells. Thanks to a much more sensitive sense of smell, you may find one's appetizing aroma suddenly offensive and offensive ones downright sickening. To stay away from any smells that trigger nausea as much as possible, whether it's the sausage and eggs your partner likes to make on the weekends or to the cologne or perfume that used to make your head or the heels but now makes your head for the toilet. Steer clear too of foods that you can't stand the sight of. Raw chicken, for example, is a common culprit. Ask your dog about the COVID-19 vaccine. When you're pregnant, you're at an increased risk for complications from COVID-19. So it's smart to practice social distancing and wear a face mask in public, especially when you're inside. You may also want to be vaccinated with a COVID-19 shot, which is currently available to all adults, including pregnant people. Experts say that the mRNA vaccines from Pfizer, BioNTech and Moderna as well as the viral vector vaccine from Johnson & Johnson are unlikely to pose any harm to an unborn baby and note that the risks of getting COVID-19 while pregnant are likely to be higher than the potential risks of getting the vaccine. Ultimately, however, the decision is a personal one. Talk to your doctor if you have any questions. Add mangoes to your plate. All fruits are good for you, but mangoes are particularly great for the pregnant set. They contain more vitamin A and C, bite for a delicious bite than a salad. This tropical favorite, also packed with potassium, is especially versatile, a perfect complement to sweet and savory dishes. Blend it into smoothies or soups, Chop it up in salsas or relishes or simply scoop and enjoy. Know that fatigue is normal. Are your two favorite pastimes sitting and lying down? Pregnancy fatigue is normal. That's because you're running a baby-making factory that's in business 24 hours 7 days, causing your pregnant body to work harder at rest than your non-pregnant body did on the run. And for the next few weeks, a baby is not the only thing in production, so is the placenta, the magnificently complex mission control that will serve as your baby's life support system until delivery. The result? You feel tired and overworked, even when you are not doing a darn thing. Your energy should return once the placenta's up and running and your system adjusts as best as it can to the hormonal changes of pregnancy, probably early in the second trimester. In the meantime, keep your blood sugar levels up with frequent snacks of complex carbs and protein, like cheese and crackers or nuts and dried fruit. Or try a little exercise, which can actually give you an energy boost. Most of all, listen to your body. When it calls for a break, take one. Eat a healthy breakfast. If you haven't already, it's a fine time to get into the habit of eating breakfast and including two breakfast foods that are especially good for your pregnant body and baby building. Oatmeal and DHA enriched eggs. 
Oats are full of fiber, B vitamins, iron and a host of other good-for-you minerals. Fill your breakfast bowl with them, but don't stop there. Add oats and all their nutritional superpowers to pancakes and muffins and cakes, cookies and even meatloaf. If you're eating eggs, that's great. The old egg is still a good egg, delivering a low-calorie, high-protein punch in a tasty little bundle. But you can boost the nutritional value by scrambling, frying or boiling once enriched with DHA, a type of omega-3 fatty acid and good fat. It's a primary component of the brain and retina and it's essential for brain development and eye formation in the fetus.